Hey guys, I've heard there's a few leather jackets about and they do love prawns, so I've got myself some nice fresh prawns and I'm going to have a go trying to see if I can catch some. So I'm just using little tiny school prawns for bait and uh, taking the heads off and just threading them on. The small ones, the really small ones, I'm putting, it, putting them on hole. Just like that. These are fresh. They were just caught off the trawler the other day. They're not frozen or anything. They're not a uh, ones that you get from servo. Let's try and cast that out there, and hopefully we don't get snagged straight up. Oh, bite straight away. So hasn't taken long. And I reckon I've been baited. Oh no, it's still a bite there. baited it's nice here it's um, a lot of reef but it's very snaggy so I've gone back to a paternoster rig with a ball sinker at the bottom hopefully that'll make it a bit less likely that we'll get snagged but yeah I think we'll be <laughs> we will get snagged sooner or later Got something, it's not very big. Another wrasse. Well, we moved here to get away from you. Still found him. Okay. I'll let this guy go. Oh, see you, mate. He's back in the water after hitting a rock. Might just cast that back out there. He's still got bait on one of them. Oh, he's got me in the in the rocks. He's coming. What have we got? This feels a little bit bigger. Oh, finally, we got a leather jacket. That's what we're after. So if he hasn't, it's not going to bite me off. Ah, oh, yes. That's what we were after. A leather jacket. <laughs> finally. Man, there's so many little pickers out in there and they just steal your bait so quickly. But got this guy. This is a, uh, I think they call him a six spine leather jacket or yellow fin leather jacket. Really good eating. This guy's going in the bucket if I don't drop him. And uh, I'll show you how to clean these guys up too. Nice, I haven't caught one of these fish for so many years. It's actually the very first fish I ever caught as a kid. A little six spine the jacket and he's throwing up all that prawn that he's been munching that's why they're so hard to hook their mouths are tiny they got tiny little mouths really sharp teeth really sharp teeth and they'll uh, they'll bite you off look at those teeth not sure if you can see them so you need a long shank hook otherwise I'll just bite you off okay I don't have any ice so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put him in this little bag here there's holes in there that are uh, that he can stay alive so We'll fish for another hour or so, but that he'll stay alive and nice and fresh in there. Yep. On to another one. This could be another leather jacket. What have we got? It is. him up there's another one beautiful looking fish they go along with this big spike on their head and they rub against the coral and break bits off and they go along and eat them these are really good eating fish and we're going to keep a few the tides just started to run out and they have come on the bite all the little fish have buggered off and these leather jackets have come in so I'll put him in the bag as well Ooh. Put him in the bag with the other one. Hopefully they don't put a hole in that bag with that spike of theirs. Right. A couple more, we've got a good feed.
Yep. Oh, this one feels like a good one. Get him out of the reef. Oh, he's going for it. There you go, nice one. Oh, out away from those rocks. They go all right for a funny looking fish. Oh, he's hooked on the outside of the face. Lucky to get him. But another nice leather jacket. These guys are so much fun to catch. There's about a hundred different species of leather jackets in Australia. But um, these ones, some of the bigger ones, a lot of them don't get very big, but there's no uh, size limit. And I think a bag limit of 20, which is a lot of, lot of fish. So we're gonna, not gonna keep anywhere near that. They got really rough leathery skin. I don't know if you can hear that. That's why they call them leather jackets. They're more like sandpaper. The hooks are really hard to get out when they, uh, they go through the skin. Okay. Put them in the bag as well. I might have to find a new spot for this bag because the tide's going out. And there's not much water in there. Get in there. So I might find somewhere a bit deeper. There you go. Straight on, very next cast, got another one. They're all about that same size. Watch that spike. Another one. There you go. I think as they get bigger, they get another another spike there. They make them a, call them a six spine leather jacket or yellow fin leather, leather jacket. I'm just hooking them just on the outside of the, the mouth, so. Putting a very good feed together of these guys. I found a new spot for my bag under this rock. Chuck him in there as well. A bit deeper. We've got about four now. Going well. Put another prawn on. They're tiny little prawns, but they're, uh, they're perfect for leather jacket because they've only got small mouths. It's pretty deep here. So I'm just casting it out, not too far. And as soon as I get a buy strike. Oh, I've got another one again. Yep, straight away. Oh, he's in the rocks. Get out. There's a heap of these guys. Oh, he's under that rock. Get out. He's out. Another nice one. Oh, look at this guy. He's got like a double fork on his uh, spike. I've never seen that before. Oh. Check out who's hiding under here. He doesn't come out and bite me. Oh, there he is. Sneaky bugger. Come on, you want a prawn? Oh, don't jump up on me. Come on, prawn. There you go. Hey, come out. Come out, he's up here. He's got it. Alright, the rain's come in, we were expecting some bad weather. It's certainly here, so we'll uh, 
stick it out for a little bit longer while the fish are biting. We'll miss that one. But uh, yeah, you're gonna get drenched here, I think. Anyway. Oh, yep. Oh, what's that? That doesn't feel like a leather jacket. Could be though, it's going crazy. Oh, it is. It's a nice one. And these guys fight all right. Nice one. Look at that. It's probably the biggest one yet. Well, this storm is uh, pretty much about to go over. There's a bit of lightning, so I'm a bit nervous. I might uh, pack it up, I think. We've got number six. There's uh, six of us at home. That's perfect for a feed. Perfect for lunch today. Yep. There's one more. That was on my last bit of prawn. Oh, he's going alright too. So he's only just hooked. See if we can lift him. Yep. My very last prawn. There he is. Another nice little leather jacket. Put them in the bag. And I'll show you how to clean these guys. Oh, I don't slip over. Alright, we'll pack all this up and then I'll show you how to clean them. Alright, this is our bag of fish. I think we've got about seven. You can see they're nice and fresh and alive in there. That's in there, look at that. I didn't bring ice, like I said, and uh, yeah, this uh, had this bag in the car, so I thought I'll put them in there, and then there's a mesh at the bottom, so water gets in nice and fresh water. You can see they're nice and fresh, and they still got the color in them. Beautiful looking fish. Okay, leather jacket. That's to be one of the easiest fish to clean. Dead simple, you basically want to cut behind the head, out there, about halfway down, and then you just rip the head off. It comes straight off like that, along with the uh, all the guts and the rib bones, and then you're just left with the uh, the flesh. So give that a bit of a clean, and now you can take that home like that and skin it later, or very easy to skin just here. So what you want to do is just grab the skin. It's like sandpaper, like we said earlier really rough so you just got to get your fingers in underneath there and go all the way around and then it'll just peel off there you go once you get started it comes straight off give that a bit of a wash and then you got your beautiful leather jacket meat now you can dust that in flour and cook it like that as it is or if you want to get rid of the bones you can just fill it like you would a normal fish great fish to catch really good eating they're really nice meaty fish what nice white flesh there you go that's what we got great bag of uh, leather jackets here hope you guys enjoyed the video uh give fishing for leather jackets a go it's great fun